Isabel, Leonardo DiCaprio is a producer on the first film and a big champion of yours when you got started. Have you seen him throughout the years? Do you keep in touch? When you see him at events, what's that like? I think the last time I saw him was in person was at a, a like a pre-Oscars party a couple of years ago. And I remember he was just shocked. And I actually saw our producer, Alex Mace, at the same party, which is so funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, well, a lot of people don't know that Leo actually is the reason that I was cast in the original Orphan because I'd never worked on anything before. It was kind of one of the first couple of, you know, big auditions that I had. And uh, they were looking for someone with blonde hair and blue eyes, which my natural hair color is not actually blonde, surprise, surprise. Um, and so they, a lot of people didn't actually watch my tape, but Leo watched my tape when he was um, out on location filming and he called the studio and he said that it's Isabel or I'm taking the movie someplace else. So I really kind of owe him my entire career because it was because of him that I got cast in the movie. And I actually didn't even know that until halfway through filming when <laughs> Leo DiCaprio took me to lunch at the polo lounge as a kid with my mom. <laughs> and I remember just sitting there and pinching myself because I couldn't believe it. Um, so I, I'm a huge fan of his and I, I really just appreciate his his support and 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 for really being the reason that I'm doing this because I, I love this career so much. I can't imagine doing anything else. Yeah, very and cool. Really him taking a chance. Welcome home, Esther. We left it just as it was. It's lovely to be back. I miss my family very much. Isabel, what was it like for you to jump back into this character? I guess more specifically, what was it like for you to see yourself de-aged in this? I'm sure there's a process of trial and error, but then when you saw it completed, what was that like for you? And jumping back into the role was so exciting and terrifying at the same time, but revisiting Esther was something that I kind of had to do and that no one else could do, and I would be really pissed if anybody else did it. And, uh, and I think seeing the movie for the first time, you know, I was just shocked, honestly. I mean, even though I was there every single day for all the like tricks that we did with the camera, with the lighting, to practically age me back in time because we didn't use any visual effects, it wasn't until I saw the movie for the first time that I really kind of had my jaw hit the floor and go, whoa, we actually did it because I found it to be so much creepier than the first one um, because somehow we made me look like a kid again. And uh, I'm just excited for the fans to see it, honestly. As you said, there was no no like special effects. Well, not special, but, but there was no like, I guess, digital effects. But mm -hmm. what was it like doing all that stuff practically for both of you? Oh, it was so fascinating. Um, we had like a little chair that they tried to make to make to help me walk, but it, it we had to be driven by somebody else, and then my shoulders weren't moving. So I remember the first time we were like, it's like, you know, just gliding in. Esther just flies all of a sudden. So it was really trial and error, and we kind of discovered that these massive platform boots that Julia wears basically in every scene that we did in the movie together and me squatting simultaneously kind of fit the bill for the scenes that we were in when you see it, both of us together. Mm -hmm. And then I had a, a body double, two of uh, two of them, Sadie and uh, Kennedy, who were wonderful young actresses who played me and played Esther from every angle. And we really got to like co-create her movements together in this movie. Um, and then I think the only, you know, facial effect that we did is I wore contact lenses that made my, my eyes bigger, but that was really about it. Everything else was just kind of, you know, on the day. Yeah. Julie, what was it like for you seeing it, it seeing the finished version of that? Cause I'm sure, you know, as, as Isabel just mentioned, platform boots and she, you know, all of these sort of practical effects that have to happen to make it, I'm sure from your perspective, when you're shooting seems like, a you know, like one thing, but then when you see it finished, you're like, oh yeah, that's it, this this works. I mean, it's a testament to Brent, our director um, and our producers that we, nobody, no, none of the actors on set were like, this isn't gonna work. Um, we all went uh, all in. And I think, um, yeah, if you, if you zoomed out of the movie while we were making it, well, you know, it looked ridiculous. Like I, it was pretty humiliating to have to walk around with big Gene Simmons platform boots on all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, and be like towering over other people. Um, and and Isabel got an amazing like thigh workout because she was walking around with bent legs the whole time. Um, so it, it seems kind of silly from the outside, but we didn't get distracted by it. And we were able to 
I, I, when I saw the movie finally cut together, I was like, whoa, um, they really pulled it off. And Isabel also like, it wasn't just about making her tinier or shorter than everybody else. There's a whole demeanor and way that she talks that um, is very convincing as a child. And the whole movie hinges on that because she's got to be able to trick this family. And they never did it with uh, with uh, like CGI or digital digital manipulation, so. Yeah, that's very cool. Very like a very old school filmmaking. Um, Julie, what was the draw for you? Were you a big fan of the original film? I don't, I remember the original film being really popular. I'm too much of a wimp for horror movies. And I think in particular, when we, uh, when I was sent the script to the prequel, um, it was, the world was so scary enough that I, I, I couldn't stomach watching scary movies. But also there's something about working on a, a movie like this. If you're not the villain, if you're not the main character, then usually you're just like in distress the whole time. And that's not as exciting, but I, I read the script and I uh, got to the twist and the twist is even like more amazing than the twist I think in the first one. Um, and I thought, oh my God, this is so good and so clever. The script was just really, really good. And it also has fun. We have fun in the movie because now the audience is in on the secret that um, we're just watching this Esther and Elena, you know, trick all these uh, grown ups and going like, how much longer is she going to get away with this? Yeah, yeah. it seems really fun to me if that's a weird word for a horror movie. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, of course, of course it is. What should the audience know about the twist heading into it without? I guess, giving too much away. Well, first of all, you can enjoy the movie regardless because uh, again, we've said it a lot, like we're we're in on it with Esther. So watching this anti-hero um, trick people and manipulate and wondering how far she's gonna push that um, or is she gonna get caught? Like that that is part of the fun. And then my character, you know, I say in the trailer. The mother protects her family. no matter what. So Esther in some ways has kind of met her match because there's this woman that that um, is so desperate to keep her family together and to make this work, um, but she kind of looks at Esther and knows that something's off and something's weird. And so you're just waiting for her to figure it out. And what is she gonna do once she does figure it out? Julia, it's been 10 years since Silver Linings Playbook. I'm tired, I wanna go. No, 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 we haven't. We haven't even finished the salad yet, or, or the, the duck. I made the fire and ice cake. I said I'm tired. What do you remember about shooting that? I was so happy to be a part of that movie. It was a pretty crazy experience. Um, I remember being really impressed with Jennifer Lawrence. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I learned a ton on working on that movie. Um, yeah, oh my God, 10 years? What are you talking about? <laughs>